So today is Skincare Sunday. So I'm super excited to do a masking session with you guys. Uh, if you saw last week, I posted that the week prior I received this new Teamy Blue Beauty Mask. Shout out to Teamy Blends. You guys know I've worked with them in a few skincare videos before. And I've tried their detox mask, which is green and I love it. It really helps at decongesting my pores. So I was super excited when they reached out to me to try their new blue beauty mask. One, because this mask is all about hydration. So this mask is a restorative hydrating facial mask. You guys know I've been dealing with a lot of congestion in my pores and breakouts and mask me. And along with that, I have to do a lot to combat those breakouts. So one thing I've really been focused on in the past month is hydration. My skin is doing pretty well right now, but every day I have to add a lot of moisture because when I'm combating the acne and the breakouts and the texture, that really dries my skin out. So I was super excited to try this product. The first thing I wanna say about it is that it smells so good. You guys, so the first time I opened it, it kinda of spilled everywhere, but this product smells so good. It literally smells First of all, look how liquidy it is, which is perfect because it's a hydrating mask. But I wish you guys could smell this. This smells like fresh blue water, crisp clean linen, and just being at the spa. This smells so hydrating and amazing. I also knew by looking at this that this would be really, really hydrating for my skin because it's a mask, but it's kind of liquidy, so it kind of feels like pudding. <laughs> Just gonna be honest, this is the texture of it. See, like, it's a mask, but it's not your traditional clay mask. When I think of clay masks, I think of them being super, super drying, but this is amazing because it's really hydrating. All their skincare is natural and it's also vegan, so it's great if you have sensitive skin, if you are affected by a lot of different harsh ingredients in skincare. I love that they are all natural, which is also perfect because they're the best products to put in your skincare fridge, just because natural products will tend to expire a little faster because they don't have the toxins and preservatives that are in a lot of other skincare. So applying this on your face, it feels so smooth and just, oh, the scent is what I love. I can't really remember what the detox mask smells like, but this just smells like fresh blue water, crisp sheets, and a huge fluffy spa robe. Oh, I just want to light a candle. It smells so good. And it feels really, really cooling on my skin. Now the great thing about this mask is you can use it as an all over facial mask like I'm gonna do today, but you can also use it as a spot treatment mask, which I love doing. Sometimes I don't have 15 to 20 minutes to dedicate to doing a full masking session. So spot treating is really, really important to me. And also sometimes my skin is experiencing so many different things at once that I like to create a custom masking experience where let's say if I have some dry patchy areas, I can put on this glue mask. But if I also have some patches on my face that are a little more congested and I feel like I need to be detoxed, I can use their detox mask on those areas. So remember when you're putting on your mask that you don't have to put your mask over your entire face. You can definitely decide which area you'd like to apply it to and get a customized treatment. Just a little bit about this mask. This mask uses four key ingredients that really help to target and restore your skin. The first is zinc oxide, which is really great. It's actually antimicrobial, and it also increases the moisture barrier in your skin. So if you are very dry and dehydrated, this is gonna bring a lot of moisture back into your skin. The second ingredient is actually kaolin clay, which is really great at absorbing excess oil and exfoliating your skin. Like I said, this is a clay mask, so it is gonna be really great at absorbing excess oil. The third ingredient that this mask features is butterfly pea extract. And honestly, 
That might be the scent that I'm smelling that smells so scrumptious. Like you guys, I really wish you could smell this. So butterfly pea extract is really great for rejuvenating your skin. And the last key ingredient is aloe vera, which is just great for overall hydration. This is a mask that I would say would be amazing to take on a vacation. If you've been out in the sun and your skin is dry and thirsty and you just need something to revive it, this is going to be perfect. So this mask has been on my skin now for probably about five minutes. This is what it looks like. It's still not dry to the touch. This is not your typical mask, you guys. It's almost like a pudding texture. So I really like the fact that it's not gonna completely harden and feel like it's gonna crack off of your face. So I'm gonna let this sit on just for five minutes more and then I'll rinse it off. So I'm just wiping the mask off. <sighs> My skin is so, so hydrated. So what I really love about this mask is that you don't have to leave it on for a really long time for it to harden and feel like it's gonna crack off. What that does is it doesn't dry your face out. I mean, the whole concept of this mask is to be rejuvenating, to be hydrating. This makes my skin feel so soft. It almost should be called the soft cooling blue mask because my skin just feels so hydrated and amazing. So now this is gonna be perfect for going into my moisturizing routine. Just, oh. So if you guys want to try out this Teamy Blue Beauty Mask, I'm going to leave a discount code down below and I'll put a pop up in the screen. Be sure to check it out. Let me know if you try the last mask that I spoke about also. So now I'm gonna finish doing the rest of my self-care Sunday and I'll see you guys. I wanted to show you guys what um, he actually did these floors and what he used. This is the Holloway House Quick Shine Floor Finish. So this is what is on our floors right now. This is how they are so super shiny. Chloe's 24 inch lamb. Um, yeah, this is amazing. Because of COVID, we really haven't had our cleaning people here, which is totally fine, but it's just forcing us. It just means that I have to brush up on all of my favorite cleaning products. And this is something that um, really makes our floors sparkle. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to give you guys this little quick tip. Uh, I think you can buy this anywhere. I was at Kroger today and I saw this at Kroger, so. This is what is making the floor shine. And then this is the floor cleaner. When you use this at first, the floor will be super, super clean, but it will be very dull. So if you follow it up with this quick shine, it will look nice and shiny and clean. Just wanted to give you guys that little quick, quick tip. Got home from some appointments and such. I wanted to share two small things that I purchased today. So I went to Ulta <laughs> and I sprayed, uh, sorry, I'm hot, I have my hair clipped back. I sprayed Carolina Herrera Good Girl, I think. I think I'm getting this. It smells like fresh, fruity, and a little androgynous. I think, 
I feel like I could smell a man wearing this. I don't know. I really like this. It's kind of fresh. I'll have to put the notes on the screen. It's, it's a nice scent, but it borderlines androgynous, which I love as I'm getting older. So at Ulta, I went and picked up a Jack Black lip balm. I feel like my lips are so dry. And this is actually the shea butter one. Kind of tastes like a cupcake. <laughs> then I went to Target and got the Up and Up Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. These are comparative to the Biore Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. And my nose is full of blackheads. So this comes with 14 strips. So I will be using one of these today. Um, my friend was using one of these this past weekend and I was like, you know what? I need to add this to my skin routine. If not for use like every other week, at least like once a month, because I do get a lot of blackheads on my nose. The first place I start sweating is my nose. I also am super, super oily on my nose. So it's just, it's a disaster. So that's all I picked up. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'll link those products down below. I've been away the entire weekend. I'm just getting back from my staycation. So uh, I'm going to answer some emails, do a little bit of work. And then tonight we have the verses with Monica and Brandy. And I know this whole time I've been asking you guys like, which one are you rooting for? But... I've never watched one of these little competitions, but I don't think we're picking like a real winner. I mean, I've heard in the previous ones, it's been like, wow. <laughs> but Monica and Brandy are both going to do an amazing job. Uh, I just want to say that though I do not know as many Brandy songs, at least current or within the past decade, uh, I know she's going to be amazing as well as Monica. So that is at 830, I believe. So I will probably work for three to four hours, figure out what I'm going to eat for dinner, and we can watch the verses together. So, yeah, let me get some stuff accomplished. Staycation was amazing. Had so much fun. I did vlog this past weekend because it was a staycation, but it was also for an exciting event. I will tell you guys all about it next month. Um, I just can't post about it on social media right now, but I promise when I can, I will give you guys all the details. And in the vlog, because I did vlog, I will tell you guys all about my experience. So don't worry, you will see footage from that. I think every other month I need to do a staycation just to get away a little bit, stay in the hotel room, veg out, shoot content, relax and enjoy just me time. That's that's just so, so important. So I really, really um, enjoyed that. So it's 8.05. I had my pizza. What do you want, baby? Your food's in the bowl. I had my pizza. I have my water. I'm ready for the verses. So I'm watching it on my computer so that I can vlog and text on my phone, but I'm so excited. Honestly, it's all love. I just want to have a good time and feel like I'm at a concert because clearly this is the only concert I'm going to this year. But yeah, it looks so pretty. I'm so excited. This is what we have to look forward to in 2020. Everything virtual. Eight, I think eight or nine years. That's a long time. That's too long. It's a long time. It's too long. Well, we're changing it tonight. We're changing it tonight because... We're changing it tonight. <laughs> we're changing it tonight because I feel like we have so much to give. And we have so many songs that we can share. And I feel like so many people tonight are going to be so happy and so, like, elated that we're together. And we get to play 20 of our songs that we love yes. and that people yes. are going to love. So I just want to thank Swiss, Timbaland, Versus, yeah. Apple, Larry thank Jackson. Bass, your bass, we know. Yes. But everything to me, that's the one for my kids. Mm. Oh, my God. I Boy, love one of my kids. You Oh. Uh -huh. 
was. People think I'm abusive. That's not what yeah, happened. She said. just punched her in the face. That sounded like I was abusive. No. But you the one said you were kicked in the door. And but I didn't say you. Well, no, you didn't kick in my door. Right. I'm so sorry. You. It was a hard time around this time. So, first of all, it's nine o'clock and I'm sleepy. Um, clearly, I've never watched the verses. Like, I need y'all to. I, I want to hear you guys sing. Like, I want to feel like I'm at a concert. I don't know. I feel like, you know, I've never seen a whole verses from start to finish, but this feels super, super produced. Like. They're at Tyler Perry Studios. The first one that I peeked on, the actual artists were doing them from like their own studios or from their homes. And so, I don't know, it just felt more real. Yeah, I don't know. This is too produced for me. It's too produced, too mellow. I thought it'd be more of them actually singing. I don't know. I mean, it's good, but maybe I just expected something different because I've never seen them. And also, this is literally a production. Oh. Sorry, the lighting is so bad. Final versus thoughts. So, first of all, Monica and Brandy have said that they never really met each other before either recording the song or performing it together. Now we're learning that there was a whole initial meetup at Six Flags. So, hmm, the saga continues. What truly happened between Brandy and Monica? I don't know if we'll ever know, but um, Club Monster hung in there. Yes, baby, you did so well. I know you're sleepy. Um, we had to come down here and watch it uh, on the bigger TV with better sound because allegedly we would get the better experience. And it was better. I enjoyed it. It was nice hearing all of their hits. I know why Brandy is not my favorite now, even though I do, I love her older music. It's because Brandy is more neo soul now, and I'm just like an R&B or hip hop or a rap girl. Uh, and her new stuff just definitely sounds neo soul. But I might go listen to it because some of it just sounded really, really beautiful. So I just didn't want you guys to think that I was anti-Brandy because I'm not. But it was really great. We enjoyed it. Chloe, did you have fun? You got to stay up and be a big girl? It's now 11 and it's time for bed. So see you guys tomorrow. Just getting back from hunting and gathering. It's about one o'clock. So if you guys don't know, I tend to go hunting and gathering, which is what I call grocery shopping. I tend to do it at like eight or nine o'clock just because the stores are better stocked. There are also less people, but I'm tired of waking up that early to go grocery shopping because prior to the pandemic, I would go like after the gym or something or before the gym. So I went today at noon, big mistake. The store was so packed. <laughs> so um, cases in Georgia are going down, but I don't know. I just feel like more safe going early in the morning when there are less people there. So I will not be doing that again. This week, I am making meatball subs, a cob salad. I didn't make it last week. I'm making salmon and asparagus. And I think I'm eating out one night. So that's what we're doing for this week. Um, I also did get a few cool things in the mail. So I'm going to share that with you guys shortly. But let me unpack all these groceries. Oh, shout out to my girl, Catrice Marie. I will leave her Instagram name on the screen. First of all, I adore her. She is just, she's everything. I love her, like just seriously love her. Like if I ever go to Minneapolis, we are hanging out. <laughs> so definitely follow Catrice. Every, if you like my channel, you will probably like her Instagram. Uh, I really adore her. In the last vlog, you know that I had been looking for oat milk that was sweetened that didn't have a lot of carbs. She told me about this one. Now it does have four grams of sugar per one tablespoon. 
and I'm sure I'll be using like four of them in my coffee. So I don't think I will keep using this just because it's way too much sugar, but I did want it to try it out. Per the website, it said that this was sold at Target. I could not find it at Target. I found it at Publix. I also think I want to do a video. Let me know if you guys would find this interesting. I want to do a video featuring my pandemic staples, things that I've been loving during this pandemic year, and also like my tips as far as finding the things you need. Sanitizing wipes, paper towels, toilet paper, everything like that. Some items are easy to find, like hand sanitizer now you can pretty much find anywhere, but paper towels are a little hard to find still and sanitizing wipes I've only found in small packs at Target. So let me know if that video would be helpful to you guys. Plus, I just want to share some of the things that I'm using to help keep me healthy in terms of sound, mind, body, and soul. Let me know if you guys would like a video on that. I am going to put this on Instagram so I can shout my girl out and then empty all of my grocery bags from this week. Also have to sanitize everything. Fun, fun, fun. That's one thing that I cannot wait to stop doing. Alexa, play Brandy. Cause we're not haters. Yes. me i did like a three count i'm gonna pour a little shot of this because i want to taste it on its own there's so much sugar in it mm. oh wow oh that's good oh that's good oh my goodness okay catrice you were correct i knew that i could trust you though because you're a coffee aficionado this is amazing i just wish it it. I'm using more. I'm just not going to be able to buy this very often. This is so good. Okay, guys. I wanted to share some things that I got in the mail recently. So these are things that I've been purchasing and one thing from a brand. Okay, so the first thing is from my girl D. Her hairline is called Lace Couture Version Hair. She sells hair, lashes, and lip gloss. I do want to try some of her lashes because she wore a pair on Instagram and I'll put her Instagram across the screen and her website as well as down below. So the first thing I purchased from her were two lip glosses. First of all, her packaging is so cute and her little inserts are so cute. She has this Lace Couture version hair sticker like, and let me tell you, first of all, I've been following D for probably a decade for a long, long time. We have had so many talks, so many heart to hearts. When I tell you I adore this woman and she doesn't know that I'm, I told her I would include it in my black owned brand video that I'm gonna do, but she doesn't know I'm including it in the vlog. I adore her so much. I am so proud of her. I remember when she had a hairline, ooh, back when I was living in New York many, many years ago. The growth that I have seen in her is just amazing. I don't know if she'll see this video, but I am not doing it so she can praise me. I just want to give her the praise she deserves. So she has a line of lip glosses. And I want to say these are, I threw the um, my order form away, but I'll put them on the screen. So one is a pink. This is what the pink looks like. And one is a chocolate brim, which I'm super excited about because, you know, fall is near and I love a good chocolate lip. So I'm really excited to try her lip glosses and just her line overall. Just a woman who is out here just going for exactly what she wants out of life. And for that, I adore her. The next item I want to share is from another black owned beauty brand. Once again, shout out to my girl, Christian. She actually posted about this nail polish brand 
on Instagram. It's called Triple O Polish. It's a black owned brand. And she basically told me that they're a really, really small batch, small black owned business. And especially on social media, we are really focusing on shopping black. And I can't wait to do this video about black owned brands because I think for some people that are not minorities, they don't understand why it's important to shop black owned. It's just like why it's so important to see black actors and actresses and ballerinas and dancers, choreographers, you know, it's so important to just see yourself represented in something good. That's why I'm so excited to do this video. So she featured triple O polishes on her page and I know how you guys are and I know you guys are going to support. So I'm so excited to tell you about this brand. So I went on their website and I purchased a gel polish. So first of all, I love the fact that they're black owned and they sell gel polish. So this is another chocolate brown gel polish. Uh, this is called Fawn, F-O-N. Once again, I will link these products down below, but they will also be in an entire black woman owned video in the future. It's called Triple O Polish. Super excited about this. You guys know I do my own gel polish and um, just to find a black owned nail polish brand, I'm stoked. Okay, next we have something from eBay. I shop a lot on eBay, more wonder gel. So like I said, I do my own gel manicures and I was running low on my base coat and top coat. So these are the ones that I use. I will link them down below. I like this top coat specifically because you don't have to wipe it off. So in a time where it was previously hard to find alcohol and hand sanitizer, Having a no wipe top coat really helps. I've been using this for like three or so years probably. I'm that girl when I go to receive services, hair and nails, I am watching to see what my stylist and my manicurist use so that I can duplicate my results at home because I don't like paying for those things. Okay, next I think we have a fragrance. And I believe this is from Fragrance X. Now, if this is what this is, I'm not gonna share it because I am, well, I might share it. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and show you guys. You guys will get a little sneak peek since you watch my vlogs. So this is the first time I've ever shopped from Fragrance X. I shop with Fragrance Net a lot. I've been shopping Fragrance Net for years. Shout out to my girl, Mimi. I'm gonna link her channel and her Instagram page down below. Another amazing, supportive, just beautiful, positive, like beautiful. She's always so sweet. She does a lot of fragrance reviews and fragrance videos. And I want to say she included this in a recent video, but she also commented on one of my videos saying I would like this. So this is Nina Ritchie Le Extas uh, Rose Absolute. She told me this is a sweeter, more intense version of the... MFK Oud Satin Mood. So I'm really excited to try this. Once again, I'll try it out and include it in a fall fragrance video later on on my channel. But shout out to you, Nini. I love all of the women in the fragrance community because they keep your girl hip to what is good. Okay, my next package I want to open is another black owned brand. Shout out to all the black businesses thriving. I'm here for it. So this is a brand that I found through my friend Kendra. And like, this is how I am. Anytime someone I know or love has a connection to a brand, I automatically want to support. This is a black woman owned luxury apparel line with fabric sourced straight from Africa. I wanna say Ghana to be exact, but I could be wrong. The brand is called La Forme. I'm not gonna show you guys the dress because I'm gonna feature it on my Instagram and in this video that I'm doing about black owned brands, but let me show you the fabric. Do you guys see this? This is gorgeous. Oh, I have to email her, I'm so excited. When you purchase from the form, you support an African economy that thrives off of many small businesses and local resources. Each garment is sourced and manufactured in Lagos, Nigeria, so I was incorrect. We thank you for your purchase and hope to earn your business again, La Forme. First of all, I love that. <laughs> I remember my parents went to Ghana when I was a child 
and they had clothes made for all of us, everyone in my family, and they brought them back. And they were just excited to... I told y'all she doesn't play about my safety. It's okay, baby, relax. So I say all that to say, I feel honored to be able to just support this brand. Anyway, I'm, this makes me so excited. This dress is what inspired me to do this upcoming video because <sighs> I'll get to it in the video. Oh my goodness. Oh, can I give you guys a sneak peek? Oh my gosh. This, oh, it's, oh my gosh. Oh, it's sumptuous. Okay. I'm not going to show you guys the full view of this dress, but please, you guys, if you are into amazing quality pieces, I can tell by this fabric alone that this is amazing. And if you want something custom made, check out her website. Like I said, it's www.shoplaform.com. She has dresses, crop tops, pants, skirts, caftans. Oh, I'm so excited. I have to send her an email. Like, I knew this would be nice, but I didn't think this would be, like, Chloe is standing on her back legs to smell it. I know, baby. Isn't it beautiful? This is a quality piece. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, this makes me so happy. So, definitely, I'm going to leave all these products listed down below. It just, I feel honored to be able to support these brands and help support small black owned businesses because I know how much that means. So shout out to all the women that I featured and even the brands that aren't black owned brands. Shout out to them as well. Okay, let me get to some work. I just had to share this with you guys because I was so excited. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I am about to do my makeup to film some videos today. I figured you guys could get ready with me today. Today I am filming two videos. A video that's going up tomorrow before you guys see this vlog and a video that's going up next week, I believe. So yeah, just doing my makeup down here because I honestly have not fully moved back upstairs yet. The air is now working. Whew. Thank goodness. But um, you guys know I had my staycation. Come on. You wanna say hi? Say hi, Club Monster. Say hi, guys. <laughs> and before I left, I did a whole bunch of laundry, so all those clothes are on my bed. I'm gonna clean that off today. Um, but I'm super excited to film again. I feel like I haven't filmed in so long. I did a masking treatment this morning before I started my work day. Um, Wednesdays are usually my busy day. I'm usually doing like regular work and social media stuff and filming. So yeah, the first half of my week is usually the busiest. Hi, beautiful girl. Can you guys see Chloe? <laughs> She's so cute. I can't take you, darling. You're so cute. But anyway, um, yeah, I've just been watching my girl, Happy Stylish Mommy. She put up a video, I think this past weekend, uh, what she eats in a week. And I'm just getting around to watching it because of my staycation and I was kind of busy. But um, I love when she does her what I eat in a week videos. I'll link that down below because I don't know, like sometimes I get in little ruts where it's so hard for me to figure out what I want to eat and what I want to make because I'm such a creature of habit. I could eat the same things every week, like literally. So I like watching the what I eat in a week videos, especially because she eats pretty healthily, well, very healthily. So it also gives me new healthy meal ideas. Now, everybody in my house doesn't necessarily always want to eat that healthily, but I can always make things to, you know, adapt it to my diet. And speaking of diet, I don't know if I'll show myself working out in this vlog. I haven't worked out since before I went on my staycation just because, I don't know, <laughs> I got back and I just haven't been in the mood or mindset to work out. But hopefully tomorrow, 
I would do that. I like to get my workout in before noon. And so like today it's too late, especially because I have two videos to film. But I definitely want to get back on my workout tip so I'm not falling off of my workout train, which I don't think I am. But, you know, working out just helps me make better choices across the board. So, and I just messed up my eyebrow. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, thank goodness I have one more Q-tip. Because I don't know what I just did. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a great week. Or I hope your week is off to a great start whenever you're watching this. I'm so excited watching everybody else's <laughs> vlogs and videos that live in other parts of the country. Because fall is really emerging for you guys. Here in Georgia, our fall comes around Halloween. So we still have like almost two months of this heat but it is starting to get a little cooler the weird thing though is just that for most of us who have been living the quarantine life we literally missed summer barbecues vacation seeing friends and family like we've just missed it but i don't know i'm just ready for the year to come to an end and hopefully for next year to be a lot better that's what I'm praying for at least. Mm, I'm just ready for a new year, new possibilities and all that jazz. You guys voted overwhelmingly in the last video for me to do Vlogmas this year. It wasn't that I didn't wanna do it. I just didn't want it to be boring because, you know, because of this year, it's not like I'm gonna be doing Christmas activities. One of my friends did say she wants to have an outdoor Christmas party, and I'm sure that will be fine, but for the majority of whatever I was gonna wanna do over Christmas, like, it's not really an option, so. But you guys will get Vlogmas. So I'm just gonna speed this up so I can finish watching YouTube and so you guys don't have to sit here throughout like a 30 minute makeup session, cause that's kind of boring. <laughs> But I'm going to link Happy Stylish Mommy's video down below. Just have an iced coffee, so I'm going to go ahead and get this put together. in the hallway <laughs> but anyway i'm 95 percent done with my makeup i just have to go find a lippy and then off to filming so i will see you guys in a few hours when i'm done hey guys i finished filming my hair care video you guys look at all this gray don't worry i addressed that in the hair care video <laughs> and if you haven't seen it i will link it down below i just took my photo for instagram now I'm going to film my second video. Filming is so fun though. Like I totally nerd out over filming and editing. I love it. Oh, you guys probably haven't seen Miss Grace outside in a little bit. Handling business. It's a beautiful thing in the neighborhood. Done filming for today. Now I just need to hurry up and edit this video so we can go live tomorrow. And I have to cook dinner, so I'm probably gonna end today's portion of vlogging here. I think I'm making salmon tonight. That should be nice and easy, so that's good. Um, I just bake my salmon either in the oven or pan sear it on the stove. I think I'm gonna bake it tonight and use jerk seasoning and I'll just roast my asparagus in the oven with a little bit of olive oil and then sprinkle Parmesan cheese on top. Good morning, beautiful people. Look like a little curly Sue. My girl, Happy Stylish Mommy, posted on Instagram that Nespresso now has pumpkin spice cake or something. But honey, those things are $1.40 a pack. Oh, no, 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 $1.40 a pod. So she won't be getting that. Oh, getting ready to make my morning cup of joe. Go ahead, get your lamb down. 
I put her two feet lamb in my chair. Go ahead, baby. Get it down. Yeah, go ahead. I just woke up in the best mood, and I know what it's attributed to. Um, my girl Natalie sent me the best word from the Lord this morning, and it just made me so pumped. So, ooh, yeah. I meant to get up early anyway, but now I just feel <sighs> amazing. Got my word from the Lord. So, you guys know I've been mixing my oat yeah milk with the creamer. Oh, this is so good. It's just so sweet. A lot of you are telling me that the silk almond milk is good, that there's also a Coffee Mate natural variety. I've written all these down in my phone so that I can try them. But so far, I love the way this tastes. It's just so, so sweet. But, hmm. I'm just letting myself live right now, you know? Hi, Chloe. What do you wanna to do today? The bigger question is what do you want to be for Halloween? Because mommy has to buy your costume soon. We do it big for Halloween. Not really. I don't really even celebrate Halloween, but I usually buy a costume for Chloe just because it's fun. I never celebrated as a child, so I don't know. Chloe's first year, she was Wonder Woman. Her second year, she was sushi and pizza. Then her third year, she was Cleopatra. So this year, I don't know what she's gonna be. I will be buying it soon because they always sell out. If you're looking for a doll costume, I get Chloe's from BaxterBoo.com. I'll put the website down below. Just a little FYI, they have the cutest costumes and they're not too expensive. And if you get them early enough, um, they're like, there's a really good stock of them. Ooh, look at the sun today. Hold on, let me get a part so I don't look like a cone head. Sun is so hot today, I love it. Do you guys remember at the beginning of quarantine when I would wake up in the morning and just go sit outside. I can't wait for fall to arrive so that I can get back to that. So grateful for the little things, like being able to sit still and exist in the morning. Oh, yeah, mm, love it, love it, love it. So what's on my agenda for today, schedule this video that's going live today, my hair care video. I might do a demo for another video that's going up in a week. I want to do some skincare. I think I want to buy an iPad holder. I might buy a dress. <laughs> so yeah, and then work. But yesterday, oh my goodness, after I finished editing the video, I was so exhausted. Um, that was like my first full day of work since I've been back from my staycation. So regular work plus filming videos and editing like right after and cooking and cleaning. Oh my goodness. Like that's my last, maybe that's why I feel so refreshed today because I got a really good sleep last night and still managed to get up and be right here at nine o'clock. But um, yeah, yesterday was very like exhausting. I always tell people, like, after a vacation, you almost need, like, two days when you get back to decompress and ready yourself for the work week because, I don't know, it just takes a lot out of you, even if you're off somewhere sitting on the beach. <laughs> Today's going to be a working day, but I'm excited. Um, so let me get to work, <sighs> get some things done, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. The boys mind, the boys mind, the boys mind. Hey guys, I literally got up from my workstation to come in here so that you guys don't have to see me in the same space. All vlog long, <laughs> but it's been a pretty easy. Um, Chloe. I just happened to look up. And I'm in the great room, AKA the room that Chloe is not allowed in. And my ball gown is on the floor. Why is my ball gown on the floor? Jump. Come on, jump. Why, why is my ball gown on the floor, little girl? 
Why is mommy's ball gown on the floor? And a pillow. Oh, when I tell you guys that she is such a baby. Oh, I know. You're so happy when I hug you. But anyway, um... You are such a baby. Um, my day has been busy, 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 but it's been a productive day. I honestly cannot wait for tomorrow. I cannot wait for Friday. I'm so excited. I just want to be able to have some hot things. Hi, beautiful baby. But anyway, I'm going to stop the vlog here. I was going to work out, but I'm so hungry that I don't think I have enough energy to. So I will show you guys my September. She is such a child. I'll show you guys my September uh, at home workout routine on the next weekly vlog. But I will link my at home workout playlist down below because, yeah, in case you guys want some workout inspo but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's vlog i love you guys so much have a great week i hope you're having a great week whenever you're watching this stay positive and stay encouraged and stay beautiful and i will see you guys next week or tomorrow <laughs>